A darshana refers to the real non-seeing of objects which already exist, it refers to the ignorance of factual existence of things. This term figures prominently in the Yoga school of thought, and in Jain philosophy. Meaning A darshana or a darshan in Sanskrit as an adjective means latent or invisible, and as a noun it means non vision, disregard, non appearance, neglect, latent condition disappearance, not seeing. It also means agyan and avidya. Vaidyanath Shastri citing SL, 2.25 and SL, 3.55 of Vyasa Beshya writes that by understanding the non-seeing of objects that exist one understands the seeing of those objects and comes to know about the reality of them. Darsana means seeing. Therefore, Panini, in his Ashtadhyayi Sutra 1.1.60 and 61, has given its meaning as disappearance, invisibility, elision of an object, which fact is denoted by luck, shlu and lup. Lup refers to real non-seeing which already exists. In other words, a darshana refers to the ignorance of factual existence of things. In Ayurveda, the term, adarshana, means visual errors and blindness that results in not seeing the objects that already exist. In the Puranas, adarshana is the mind-born mother it is so said because the act of seeing and the act of not seeing or non-seeing is an activity of the mind. Implication. The term, adarshana, as a technical term in yoga referring to ignorance or absence of knowledge, figures prominently in the discussions pertaining to the sadhanapada of Yoga Sutras of Patanjali. Patanjali systemized the yoga philosophy or yoga darsana propounded by Akarya Haranyagarbha which is the practical application of Samkhya principles earlier systemized through 22 sutras by Kapila. Vyasa Bhasya which is Vyasa's commentary on the Yoga Sutras of Patanjali has been commented upon by Vachaspati Misra and Vigyanabhikshu. Vyasa states that liberation consists precisely in the cessation of the mind which cessation occurs by the disappearance of the cause of misconception or adarshana while adding that correct vision of reality stops or sublates misconception which is the cause of bondage. Vyasa explains that a darshana is the particular conjunction of avidya in relation to the inward individual consciousness. Vyasa in his commentary on Sadhanapada of Yoga Sutras elaborately discusses and explains the concept of a darshana. Therefore, a darshana or wrong conception or contrary knowledge is that contact of the purusha with the gunas in which the gunas serve as objects of purusha. The modification of the mind in the shape of experience of pleasure and pain is a darshana. A darshana ceases on attainment of discriminative knowledge that gradually leads to kaivalya or liberation. It is also known as the power which manifests as knowing darsana, or as the characteristic of both the knower and the knowable. <laughs> Application as per yoga school of thought The Yoga school of Hindu philosophy considers a darshana as the sway i.e. proneness to gunas, which sway lasts till the gunas are active and that it is non-production of the primary mind. The primary mind is that which ceases to function after presenting the objects of experience and discernment to the owner, the seer. The mind that ceases to function when right knowledge and aversion to objects of enjoyment through renunciation takes place is the primary mind. 
This school of thought also views adarshana as the existence of experience and liberation in a latent state as the latency of avidya or wrong knowledge or want of discrimination which is the cause of alliance of buddhi and purusha and its co-existing adarshana. Adarshana is pradhana which has a dual nature i.e. it is static and also fluctuating and it is the cognitive faculty because pradhana has the tendency to fluctuate and which tendency is stored as potential energy, adarshana. Thus, this school considers a darshana to be the characteristic of both pradhana and purusha as a particular form of cognition, as all knowledge except discriminatory knowledge. Vyasa in his commentary on Yoga Sutra 2.23 tells us that a darshana is the failure to see or ignorance avidya. Patanjali in his Yoga Sutra 2.24 does explain that the cause of identification of the Atman, the experiencer, with prakriti, the object of experience, i.e. bondage, is ignorance. When Adarshana ceases, the alliance of buddhi and purusha that causes misery ceases and there is complete cessation of bondage for all time, the state of aloofness of purusha and non-occurrence of future contact with the gunas ensues. <inaudible> <inaudible> Buddhist view But, Dharmakirti, the Buddhist philosopher, states that pervasion cannot be founded on the observation of darsana or the observation of adarshana co which is the view held also by the Karavakas and the Jains, because identity and causation are the only acceptable grounds of pervasion, unless two things are related in one of these ways, there can be no necessity and no pervasion, and non-difference implies essential identity in spite of the difference in cognitive contents of the two expressions. <laughs> Jain belief In Jainism, the term, adarshana, indicates the condition of mental unease and the suffering of loss of faith resulting from the failure in achieving the desired highest goal after long sadhana, tapas etc., which negative feeling does not affect one who has transcended anger, violence, jealousy, waywardness, bad or evil intentions, untruth, and who is disciplined and adopting the brahmacharya dharma has for forsaken his household or family life, all desires for possession of things and readily donates whatever is possessed by him. The overcoming of this negative feeling is called a darshana vijay. Other application According to Bhadhyana, Aryavarta lies west of Kalakavana, east of Adarshana, south of the Himalayas and north of the Vindhyas. Dharamsutra 2.2.16 speaks of Vinasana as Adarshana, the western boundary of Aryavarta. <laughs> <laughs> 